Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Marco and yes, I waited until 2018 to review this lens just so that I can say that it's 60 years old. This is a Carl Zeiss Jena Biometar 8mm 2.8 DDR MC and yes, you probably never heard about it, neither did I when I found it in a flea market laying there, it was just uh, 30 euros I didn't know what it was, I never saw or heard about anything like that but I was curious, so I picked it up, I turned it and twisted and checked that uh, it had no fungus or uh, mold whatsoever it was clean, it was cheap, it seemed to be fine, so I bought it when I got home, I found out first that this lens is actually worth 200 euros, so uh, that was a bargain. And that it's quite a peculiar lens. Uh, this specific one was built in 1958, so it is 60 years old, and it was mounted on a Pentacon 6, which was a 6x6 medium format camera, and that's why it took me so long to uh, figure out what mount this was. Uh, it took me a couple days, but eventually I found out and I got the adapters. And yes, I say adapters because I need two to mount this lens to my Sony. One is a Pentacon 2 M42 adapter and the other one is the M42, the classic screw mount to Sony uh, E-mount, which makes the lens quite a little bigger. This obviously is a completely manual lens, manual focus and manual aperture control and what I really like is that the Focus Pro is basically 360 degrees, it goes all around so it's very smooth and very precise. As you probably know by now I do enjoy vintage lenses, they are well built, they usually have nice glass, nice quality and they are once again quite peculiar, they have their own quirks that you have to work around and it's something that I really enjoy. But this one, it's quite a clean lens. Uh, the image quality is good as 90% of old lenses. It is quite soft, wide open at 2.8, but from 5.6, 4, it gets really, really sharp. It's not very contrasty. Some lenses are very punchy, very contrasty. This, this is quite soft, but it has quite some nice colors, especially considering that I'm shooting on a Sony, which are known to have uh, weird colors. But yeah, even if it has the nice focus throw, this is not a lens that I would use that much for video making but more for photography. I don't really feel like using this for videos. I did, I shot a few clips here and there that I will show you in a minute. I used it on a couple jobs, but it's, it's not my favorite, uh, probably because it obviously lacks the stabilization of modern lenses, but I don't know. I, maybe I'm just not confident enough to use this for video works. Other than that, a few curiosity, the MC on the lens stands for a multi-coated because there was a single coated and a multi-coated version and the DDR after the Carl Zeiss Jena means it was produced in the uh, Soviet Germany uh, after World War II. As you might know, medium format lenses were usually quite slow with f-stops reaching 3.5 usually. This is a 2.8, so I would really, really enjoy trying this on an actual medium format camera instead of being an APS-C sensor that I usually use. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, shoot more with this lens. I've owned it for a few months now, but I didn't shot as much as I would like to. Uh, yeah, it's quite a peculiar lens. Now let's see some clips and some pictures I took with it and then we'll, I'll see you afterwards.
we go, those were some examples of what this lens can produce. As always, I will let you decide if you like the quality, the colors, the contrast and all the stuff. For me, I would say that I like this lens. It's well built, sturdy. Uh, I like the all the quirks it has, all this, uh, specifically the uh, bokeh, the out of focus uh, eras in the background. It's uh, I don't know how to define it. It's really unique. I've never seen uh, a background like that. So yeah, I must say that I like this lens, and you probably will see more. Uh, we shot with this on my Instagram and maybe even on this channel. So that was all for today. As always, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video.